Hey gamers, Salcosa here. So today I'm gonna go over how to play Trickster in Orcs as Sanctuary. Now in my opinion, Trickster is an essential class and it can single-handedly determine the quality of the run. I'll be going over when, where and how to decoy and I'll cover both mini bosses and O3. With that said, let's dive into mini bosses. first phase, Gemswalk is going to teleport to these golden platforms and shoot big purple shots towards the nearest player. Your job is to keep these decoyed away from the group. Make sure you're decoying the platforms and keeping the group safe from all these purple shots. After shooting his rotating shotguns in middle, Gemspock will also start raining down bombs on the nearest player. At this point, aside from decoying platforms, you also want to decoy middle and keep people safe from those bombs. After the infamous coin phase, the group will start chasing Gemspock around as he teleports to platforms shooting at the nearest player. At this point, you want to be getting decoys on as many platforms as possible to ensure that when he teleports, the shots are decoyed away from the group. When it comes to Besa, the important question to ask yourself isn't when to decoy, but rather when not to decoy. Besa has a lot of phases where he chases the group. In all of these phases, it's important that you don't throw any decoy or the group will not be able to go in for damage. The only phase where you should be getting decoys is when he says, keep them covered. When he does this, he will rotate around middle and throw out a large amount of falcons. You want to be decoying middle and ensuring that as many of these as possible are away from the group. In the Corix, there are two phases where you need to be keeping up decoys, the first and the third phase. During these phases, the Corix has several shot patterns, some of which can be decoyed. It's important that you keep up decoys behind the boss, away from the group at all times, or they are probably gonna get spanked by him. At times, you're going to be focusing on dodging, it's important that you find opportunities to get decoys behind him. In Dama, there's three main points at which you need to decoy. The first and most important is when you see green tentacles. At this point, it means the next phase will be a green portal phase. It's crucial that you chuck a decoy in middle to make sure the portal that spawns is not chasing the group. When you see these red tentacles, it means that the next phase is going to be a red portal phase. In this phase, Dama will be shooting large, grey, exposing shots at the nearest player. Again, you want to have a decoy on middle to make sure that he's shooting these away from the majority of the group. The last phase in which you can decoy on Dama is when he says, this room shall burn like a sun. In this phase, red portals that move in and outwards are going to shoot red armor breaking arrows at the nearest player. As a trickster, you can decoy towards the outside or the middle to ensure that some of these arrows are not aimed at the group. At long last, 
last we've arrived at O3 himself. Now to make it easier, I'll be splitting up this fight into two sections, those being pre-exalted and exalted, because the goals in these sections of the fight differ. When Oryx is not decoyed, many players find it more difficult to get in damage and feel safe. As you can see in the clip, Oryx starts chasing and the group disperses. As a result, both damage and safety are somewhat thrown out of the window. So, what are we gonna do to prevent this? In pre-exalted, we're gonna be preemptively decoying O3 away from the group before every phase. In this example clip, the group is top right, so I decoy him towards bottom left before he starts his next phase. Although you want to decoy him away from the group, make sure the decoy is right behind him so he doesn't run away. One of the best times to get a good decoy is whenever O3 resets to middle. Whether it be because he reached the HP threshold or after one of his standard phases, whenever he does this, make sure to get a good decoy. As you can also see in this clip, there are some phases which aren't able to be decoyed properly. In fact, it might even be detrimental to have a decoy. However, the positives of preemptively decoying heavily outweigh the negatives, which is why we're sticking to that. In Exalted, you won't have as many opportunities to push in for damage, so it's important that you don't decoy unnecessarily. As you can see in the example, a trickster decoyed him while he was running away and as a result the group is not able to use what's usually a good damage phase. This is obviously something we're going to try and prevent. The only two phases that we are always going to decoy and exalted are fate and fleeing because these are unpredictable, very high damage chasing phases and you want to keep them away from the group. is not only to decoy these phases away, but to keep them decoyed away. After all, the group's safety is your job. At times, this will mean you need to stay in close proximity to O3. If you're not comfortable doing so, then Trickster might not be the perfect class for you. So you might ask yourself, well, what do we do with all the phases that aren't fate or fleeing? The answer is simple, you just don't decoy. There are two risks your decoys present in O3. Firstly, as said before, you can waste good damage phases. Secondly, people can get ambushed by O3 from unexpected angles when they expire or if your decoy is bad. These are counterproductive to our goal of getting everyone through the run quickly and safely. Because of that, we just don't decoy unless we need to. While we're on the topic of unnecessary decoys, another thing you want to prevent is teleporting over heaven's beams and leaving a decoy. Unless absolutely necessary, you can manually cross just like everyone else. And if you need to, then try to use a decoyless prism or a T0 prism to cross, so that you avoid endangering others. And now there's one last thing that I think a lot of tricksters need to hear. Stop using coin. This item is unreliable because you cannot predict how long the decoy will last. So please, for all our sakes, stop using it. And with that being said, we've reached the end of the guide. I hope it can help some people pick up the class and increase the safety and speed of runs. I wish you guys good luck on your trickster shenanigans. Until next time gamers.